So finally, uh, this is the end of the day. You saw the starting of the journey and uh, the middle of the journey. Finally, this is the end of the journey. Uh, this is only one acre. We have all those bags from one acre. And this is all silent. So uh, what do I say? Uh, farmers, you're always confused that a person who only has two or three acres cannot do farming. Uh, I'm telling you, we have to make this possible. And uh, by applying the technologies or the knowledge that one has to use the land. You know Africa or Uganda, we are blessed. Our climates are there. So an acre where we really planted, it's now free and the rain is still on. So I'm going to plant uh, some other uh, pastures that takes shorter time to grow. So basically it's going to be reused. What these guys are doing, I'm trying to insile the lab lab so that it can mix my silage with a lot of protein. So we still have another lab lab all over. Uh, we removed we removed the the maize, so the soil, uh, the lab lab is still existing, and this is all about one acre. So don't ever tell me that a person with two acres or three acres can do farming. We can do farming, we can do goats farming, and even animal farming. So that's all what I have. But I encourage you that even if you have a very little or very small land, you can definitely be a very strong farmer. Can make it possible so this is already here I can accommodate over 100 goats uh, using uh, the pastures from one land uh, sorry from one acre and then if it rains again I have to plant another maize then I harvest the same so how can you tell me that I can fail to feed 100 goats just within uh, an acre of land it's very very possible Let's all be energetic and we can get this Thank you very much. Good evening. Hope to see you in the next stream.